Hey everyone, this is Henry Gao here, and today we're going to look at two examples of hand drawing based on photographs. One of the photographs is actually the one I took uh, while I was on the site in person, and another one is from Microsoft Bin, and I believe you can do this very easily with the bird's eye view feature. This was a long time ago, so I'm actually not super sure, but this was one of the bird's eye view that I saved. And I'm using this obviously to sketch over the new massing for the design. So this is really easy to do with both images. Essentially, you would want to reduce the opacity of the original photograph. And what you'll see here is you'll see these lines that are a little faint in the background. And this is what I actually use SketchUp to do a a match in perspective. But essentially what you can do is you can take the original photograph and you can find its vanishing point so that in your SketchUp, you can be using this photograph to match the vantage point or the perspective of the model. So this is a great thing that you can do first within SketchUp and then you can save this view and uh, bring it into either Procreate or Morfolio Trace, whichever app you're more comfortable with. And the, really the, the drawing process takes in on the iPad. And the buildup of this is fairly simple. I have done it with plenty of my other tutorials. You go with a outline of the building and then you gradually add in details such as the textures, the details for the roofing and the materials for the building. We've used this sort of a hand style drawing for a lot of the project up to date. And we've found that this sort of a hand style is actually extremely effective in communicating the design intent uh, without showing too much detail. And we weren't sure at the beginning whether this would be sufficient for you know a site planning purpose, especially in San Francisco. But what we actually found out is that it's more than that. And people were beginning a lot less common because we are showing a hand style rendering as opposed to a more realistic rendering from either SketchUp or render from SketchUp. So this is what we've been using for a number of jurisdictions around California. So far, it's been really effective and really good. So it's both really fast and easy to produce and also very easy to edit. Now, I've probably edited this particular drawing more than a few times based on some of the design decisions that we've made later on. But this is showing you time lapse of the first pass of the drawing. So what you'll have is a line drawing and then we've chosen to show some of the photograph but at a very reduced opacity just to bring in some of that context out in front. So this sort of rendering is very quick to do and not particularly time consuming, at least for me, who is fairly proficient with drawing and have a pretty good idea about the, the end result that I'm getting. In this second example, it's fairly a familiar process. First of all, we're trying to build the outline of the building before we adding any details. And then we're trying the, the context of the building around it. And in some way, this is very meditative or just kind of like nice to be drawing and doesn't require a lot of thinking on, on my part as an illustrator and designer. Now you'll see the, the photograph actually goes bigger than the, the crop that I am showing. And this is just because, you know, the building itself really only needs to be shown in context of the buildings around it. So if I can save a little bit of time, but not showing too much context, I would often just show what's necessary. You always want to be drawing in different layers so you can go back and edit out the information easier later on. Now here I'm adding some details to the shadow. And this is the style that I use to add in depth. And you'll see that the building actually doesn't have that much detail. That's because we're really trying to show the massing of it rather than how much articulation the architecture has. A lot of that you can see in the drawing set. So as opposed to looking at this in 3D, you'll get more information on the design aspect in the drawing set. But this is really used to convey the general massing of the new design. I typically like to add in the texture towards the end, but that's totally up to you. Some would argue the presentability of having just the sketch without the background 
feels nicer, but for this drawing, we actually just incorporated the photograph behind it. And I think it actually does help making the drawing a little bit more legible. But let me know what you think. All this was done in Procreate, but I think you can get to a very similar quality with Morfolio Trace or Concept or any other drawing softwares. The ideas and the principle of working is, is pretty much transferable to any other drawing softwares.